Hip. Very gaming. Look at this. Tell me, it doesn't scream gaming to you. Like how aggressive it looks and especially the specs. The specs are very gaming. But there is one thing that isn't gaming about this computer sadly. And I'm, a, I'm going to show it to you now. Okay. Is that a Mac chime? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's with all that text? Let's see, let's see. Oh, the Apple logo? Is everything okay? Oh my god, let's put the password. It runs macOS. There is no way this thing runs macOS. Look, about this Mac. Look. macOS. MacBook Pro Retina 15 inch mid 2015. As I can see, it's not a MacBook Pro from 2015. So yeah, this runs the best operating system in the world, but it's not suited for this because we all know Mac OS, it's very bad when we talk about gaming. So here we have the solution. We will install the second best operating system, which is Steam OS, of course. So. Yeah, we will reboot and install it, this magic thing. So, Apple logo, shut down, yucky. So, so not a gaming operating system. Ew, ew. Plug the bad boy in. Let's turn on and install SteamOS on this masterpiece. Come on. Okay, USB hard drive, general EY disk. I think this one it is. Yeah. Now look at this beautiful screen. As you can see, we are now in Steam OS, baby. Very gaming OS now. Okay, I don't care about the welcome center. And now, as you can see, we're in Steam OS, the most gaming OS to ever exist. Just look at it. Tell me this doesn't scream gaming at all, especially compared to Mac OS. Just look, you can clearly see it looks very gaming. Okay, so let's connect this to the internet. Connect. Uh, cancel because we don't care about KD wallet. Install. Okay. Welcome to the Holo ISO installer. Next. Let's select our drive. SDA. Yup. Username. Very gaming PC. Password, gaming, root password, 
gaming install yes So, I just found out that uh, you can't uh, use the deck UI on uh, Intel HD graphics anymore because of an update, I guess. And well, since I don't have any M.2 adapters or any external GPUs to mess with this thing, we are gonna use the second best solution, aka installing pure Arch Linux, baby! Okay, so I'm gonna connect real quick to the internet, then come back. Okay, done. Now, let's do a sudo, sudo, pac, pacman, pacman, dash, s, y, u, to update everything. Yep. Oh, okay, good. And now, because I we don't want to waste time, we are going to use the arch install script. Just to a uh, little arch install. Basically, this is a small interface that helps you install arch faster. I love this so much. Okay, mirrors. Let's select my region, which is the best country in the world. Oh, slash row. Romania, okay, uh, good, uh, custom mirrors, uh, we're gonna do that later, uh, locales, okay, everything looks fine, uh, bootloader, that is grub, swap true, hostname, uh, very gaming, P C good root password okay okay good user account add user uh, we're gonna call it gaming P C password Okay, good, yes, we want it to be a sudo, confirm and exit, profile, okay, now let's select desktop, and we can either go with the light desktop environment, so this could work better, or let's get the pure SteamOS experience, but using, gonna, uh, by using KDE, KDE Plasma, boom. 
graphics driver in cell greeter standard display sdd m is good audio pulse audio kernels linux additional packages let's see stop firefox steam and fast fetch so we can flex that we use arch network configuration copy iso configuration time zone slash europe bucharest okay optional repository we are going to get both multi-lib and testing and now uh, oh yeah i forgot to do the disk configuration partitioning uh best effort partitioning yes ext4 yes done install enter and since i'm too lazy to record all of this we are gonna come back gonna come back after this is installed like okay and here we are i've just installed uh, the os i installed steam and as you can see the interface of the desktop is pretty similar to SteamOS since SteamOS at the end of, of the day uses KD for its desktop environment. And if we now go into the console and type fast fetch, yeah, the, we run Arch, baby. The, the most beautiful OS now. I can say I use Arch, by the way, without having any weird looks. So. Okay, so I just fire up big picture mode. As I said, we're gonna be using a PS4 controller for today. And let's start off with something simple like vector. And uh, yeah, we are not going on a great start i don't know if you can see on the camera but we have around 14 fps 15 now as you can see it looks pretty playable though like it is quite smooth it doesn't annoy me it runs fine so i don't know does this look bad to you for me it is completely playable, even though, as I said, it, yeah, I know I just lost, but even though it says it's only 14 FPS, this is playable, I guess. So we're gonna go to our next game, which is Half-Life, of course, the everyone's favorite first person shooter. If I can say it's a first, yeah, it's a first person it's actually a first person game i know but who the fuck cares okay 15 fps so far yes sure no we're gonna load the uh save game just so we can see yep 100 fps as expected as expected for half-life since yep Pretty smooth so far. So yeah. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah, I suck, I know, but yeah. It's just for the general idea to see how how's the game running. So yeah, as you can see. It was quite decent, I can say. Yeah. Fucking hell. If I remember correctly, I had to. Okay.
So yeah. We're gonna go now and play some 1980. This should run fine. I mean, it's a indie game that I've got it for free, so it should run pretty decent. What? Uh, okay. Last time I checked, I have Proton on. Let's try Resident Evil 6. And it crashed. Let's try again. <laughs> 